Hi everybody, my name is Frida Ongili. I am wife to Babu Owino. Yesterday in the evening he called me at around 11 p.m. and he told me that he is at the airport, he had just landed, he's being detained by the DCI and being and arrested. Um, he told me he would try to call me again after that, which he hasn't been able to. His phone went off and it has been off ever since. From today in the morning, all I've been doing is searching for him. I started at the DCI headquarters, I uh, was directed to go to the airport, I went to the airport. Um, to the police station, he was not there. Went to Mutaika police station, Gigiri police station, Kilimani police station, Kileleshwa police station, Embakasi police station. Um, went back again to the airport, went back again to DCI headquarters. A lot of running around trying to find him. Finally, I was given information that he is in Wanguru police station in Mwea. And we came here. Um, he is definitely here because the the... There's a lady who took me aside. I went to the gate and I was begging them that all I want is to give my husband food and to give him some medicine because he wasn't feeling well on Monday um, when he left for the trip. So I was like, I just want to give him medicine. I just want to give him food. Please just let me see him, you know, woman to woman. And they refused me entry. In fact, they literally carried me out of there just at the gate. There was a very, very heavy police presence. And I was able to ascertain that my husband is indeed in Wanguru police station in Moya. The only problem is uh, we have information that he's likely to be transferred now that we know where he is. So I'm just praying to God that he is able to stay here and that um, this is my plea to the Azimio team, to Raila Odinga. My husband has done nothing else but fight for the rights of Kenyans and there's absolutely nothing that he did to warrant the arrest. And um, we're just asking to Azimio, Raila Odinga, what you can do to just assist my husband to please be free to the government. Of course, you are the ones holding him um, illegally. There is absolutely nothing he has done. And all I just wanted as a wife is to give my husband food to be able to eat and just to check on him and to say that he is safe. And so I'm just asking for Kenyans or any like-minded people, anybody that can assist me, anybody that can um, assist me to please get my husband, please know that he is safe. I will appreciate your help. God bless you all.